So on March 29th, I had one of my biggest dreams come true. I got to go to a Johnny's concert. I went to go see the Kansai Johnny's Juniors, and I wouldn't have been able to go without the help of my friend Sarah, so thank you so much to Sarah for helping me get that ticket. So the concert was held at Sochikuza in uh, Namba in Osaka, and this is like the best venue in the entire world. It used to be like a kabuki theater, and if you've ever seen the uh, Shonen Tachi play um, that Kanju did, it's that venue. It's super, super small. Um, I was on the second floor and I could see everything and I saw everything perfectly. The details of their faces were um, a little hard to see, but I could still tell who everyone was and that's the most important thing. And also the great thing about this is that um, normally during these concerts, the guys come up um, onto um, the second and third floor balconies, so like you get to see them really close. I think Agito and Kotaki, I think, came really, really close um, to my side. So that was really, really awesome because I'm a huge Akito fan. I'm so, so happy that Kanju got to be my first Johnny's concert. Um, they're honestly my favorite part of Johnny's after news. Everyone in Kansai Johnny's Juniors are just so talented. I was looking at all the kids dancing and they're just so good. And most of them are really awesome at singing and it was just such a good show. It's a lot like watching an episode of Shonen Club, which was really, really awesome. It had all like the big name Kanju members like Hamada Takahiro with Veteran, uh, Bad, Seven West, um, Shadow West, stuff, people like that, um, and also all like the Chibi Juniors and the lesser known ones. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually almost cried twice. The first time I almost cried was when it first started because I couldn't believe that I was actually seeing Kansai Juniors in real life. And the second time that I almost cried was when Hamachan and Akito sang a really really pretty duet together and the two of them are my favorite Kansai Juniors so that was just like so many fangirl feels. Highlights from the concert, um, first Mukai Koji and I think the rest of Shadow West uh, sang a remix of Koi no ABO and it was the music and the arrangement were really cool but just like the beginning Mukai Koji sang um, acapella and I was just like what is this noise not to like hate on him or anything but um it didn't sound very good but my friend went the next day and she said that he was much better that day so it might have just been like oh he just messed up a bunch of the juniors also sang Sun Burns Down by Akinichi Jin and they had this really long intro with it with like really cool umbrellas that lit up and it was really awesome but as I heard it I was like this sounds like an American song why are they singing an American song and then it was sunburns down and I was like, oh, of course it's this song. In one of the songs, a bunch of them went up onto the balconies and um, Junta was up on a third floor on the opposite side from me and he grabbed this girl's Uchiwa and he was like pretending to be a fan so he was like waving down at the stage and like um, shaking the Uchiwa or whatever and it was just really really funny. Sing almost all my favorite songs which was really really awesome. Um, I was kind of sad that Bad didn't sing VIP um, because that's one of my favorite songs ever but um, they did sing Ume Going On for the encore and that song like is kanju for me and just like if they only sang one song I would want it to be that one because I love Ume Going On so much. Two games during the concert instead of like MC talk. I didn't understand a lot of it because uh, my Japanese isn't so great and they were speaking really fast and like in Kansai Ben so I don't understand them like at all. I did get the gist of what they were doing and um, a lot of their their actions were really really funny. The first game they played was kind of like a king of the idiots type thing so they would have a riddle and they'd have to try and figure it out and the last one left who couldn't figure it out he was like the king of the idiots. That was really really funny. Um, there was this little um, little junior, his name's Taisei, and he was the most adorable thing in the entire world. He was so cute. And then there was one moment in this game where uh, Takemoto from Seven West started singing a song um, that Junta and Akito had sang earlier, and um, Akito got like really mad, and he like got up, and he was just like had this really funny look on his face. It was it was hilarious. The second game they played was kind of like they had to make a scene, but they had to have um, auditions for each part. Think about like. A soccer team or something like that um, and the little kid Taisei he had to memorize this huge uh, thing of text and he did really well reading all the kanji and everybody was so shocked and he just did such a good job and he was so adorable. It was a really really fun concert and I really wanted to go back but you know tickets were kind of expensive. Hopefully before I leave 
for home in August, I'll be able to see Kanju again because it was so, so much fun and I'm so excited that I got to go. I did buy some concert goods. I uh, bought three things. The first thing I bought was this. Um, the Hamda Takahiro with veteran Uchiwa because Hamatan is my favorite and um, I love like all of veterans so it was the best choice for me. I also got the Hamada Takahiro photo set which is so so cute. I also got the Kiriyama Akito photo set and this one is also super super adorable. One thing that surprised me about this concert mostly about um, how the fans acted. First everyone was super super dressed up like everyone who went was so cute and I felt so underdressed because I was just wearing like a like a t-shirt and like jeans and tights but um everybody like curled their hair wearing heels and dresses and they just look so adorable like they dress up. The second thing that I thought was really weird is that during the concert there was like no response from the audience. Like, when the concert started and anytime someone shook their hips um that's when like everyone would scream but otherwise it was kind of like quiet almost. It was really really weird to me. Um, sometimes like if a song a lot of people liked or um, somebody did something particularly good um, people would like scream but it wasn't like the constant... there wasn't like a constant amount of energy going on and I just... everybody was so robotic and it was just so weird. When I go to concerts in the US I mean like I dance and I sing at the top of my lungs and I go crazy and so does everyone else but here it's just kind of like robotic. I don't know how the guys know that the audience enjoyed themselves if they don't show any emotion or reaction. Third thing, um, you can't wait outside uh, for the guys to come out. Like we tried to like get a glimpse of them after the concert because um, we knew where they would come out but um, we got shooed away like several times um, by staff members. Like with American concerts you can wait outside and the band will come out and They'll like talk to you depending on who it is or they'll like wave hi and sign autographs and stuff and like my friend and I we didn't even want to like talk to them we just wanted to like see them um, but we were shooed away from the area. We did get to see two little juniors and it was very obvious that they were that they were juniors so um, that was pretty cool. I think that's it for my Kansai Junior concert experience. Um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below. Until next time, bye bye!